Hello there, this is uh, Jay Gun Jin uh, coming to you from my workbench uh, with uh, Chrome Saber 31. Uh, this one uh, was built for uh, a member of the FX Sabers forums, uh, uh, Jedi Exile. I was originally commissioned about, uh, oh, <laughs> May or June of last year, I think it was, and uh, it's, it's been a long time in the, in the making. Uh, it's finally finished. I hope. <laughs> and the reason this one took so long is because I had to do some things to it that I had never really done before. Um, originally it was supposed to have a, uh, um, a Crystal Focus 2.63 installed in it. But uh, I, I, I thought I had had some problems with that when I thought I had blew the LED driver out on it while I was working on this. And it, as it turns out, Irv says that that was not the case. It was just a... Uh, uh, an errant or a bad uh, uh, setting in one of the configuration files which caused it to go to its uh, default LED setting of 5 which translates to roughly 20 milliamps or somewhere around there and uh, it made the LED really dim so I figured I'd blown the, uh, blown the, the driver uh, chip on that and uh, sent it back to him and he checked it out and said it's fine uh, so in the meantime uh, while that was all being taken care of, uh, I had gotten in a couple of the uh, CF version 5s uh, from Irv, and I put one of them in this. And uh, the thing that took so long to figure out was that we also decided to go ahead and upgrade it to the flash on clash effect. And that's that required the use of the LED engine uh, 10 watt green LED, which has four uh, green dice on it. Uh, Two of which uh, light up the main blade, the other two uh, provide the flash during the clash effect, and I also have that enabled during the uh, blaster blocking as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and we'll, we'll start this up. Now, he requested a, a few specific uh, sound fonts. I got them all on here and they all work, and uh, we'll check them all out here. You can see the uh, little red LED on the side is set up as the idle flashing when the saber is in idle mode, which is it is right now. Um, that will do is it will come on and stay on uh, when the saber is activated because I have it the uh, LEDs.txt file is set up to have PLI option on it so that should be on all the time until the battery starts to get low and then it uh, it will start to blink hopefully about like what it's doing right now so let's, uh, let's start this up uh, this is the uh, Mad Cow's Hero font let's see LEDs on the and so is the, the switch. Uh, switch is wired to mimic the main blade. So what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to flash and it's set to random. It'll it'll just scroll through them. It might play the same one twice, but it's all it's all random. That's the force force two effect. It's fairly loud, and then, uh, yes, I did drill some holes here. Uh, you can actually, unfortunately, see one of them right under there. Uh, the rib extension is tightening on just a little further than it did when I drilled the holes. Uh, that sometimes happen uh, with aluminum. It gets squished and stretched. Uh, there's just a couple of little nicks right here that I can't get out uh, without damaging something or completely stripping it to its parts. Uh, I don't know when that happened either. So that's Mad Cow's Hero. Uh, that's in the first slot, bank one. I use that because I don't have a menu font that says Hero. Heirloom. Steel Sword. 
obviously. Uh, this actually isn't working right now because I don't have anything loaded on that. The guy's saber. Cannot escape your destiny. Shatter point. Shatter point. This party's over. Yeah, this party's over. Pretty well. This is, uh, this is actually one of my favorite fonts right here. Uh, I have this on uh, two of my own. I have it on Brass Saber 2 and also my uh, Chrome Saber X. Petite Crouton Saber. It's Force Lightning. It's only got the one. Apparently. Right. Well, we'll go back into the uh, menu. Set for its flicker settings is the same on each each uh, sound font. Uh, this one had originally, if you use the original configuration file for it, it's got a really deep flicker and pulsed effect to make it look like it has an old and damaged blade. And uh, it's actually it's kind of hard on the eyes, so we went with the same settings I have on the Hero and the Shatter Point. Used them all for the same every font. If it only has the one. This one. That's an excellent. Nice choices in sound fonts for this one. Yeah, you can really feel that on your fingers, the vibration on the hum. This actually has four different blaster sound effects. Blade lockup. And in the last slot. Nice high powered hum, I like that. Kind of reminds me of Yoda's saber when he fires it up in the uh, Geonosis hangar to fight Dooku. 
It's a really high powered, high pitched hum. Basically, there it is. Uh, it actually didn't turn out too bad overall. Uh, the only weird thing about I don't like about using the uh, the chrome for these is the way that the uh, cover tech has a tendency to flatten and squish the uh, chrome tube. And the reason it does that is because this is only a 20, uh, 22 gauge uh, brass chrome plated sink drain pipe and what it does is it springs out if you cut it right along the edge like that like I did I went a little deeper on these because I was only doing one uh, cut out for the grips if I had done two I would have left it a little thicker right up along here and it might not have done that I don't know it, it probably still would have if I had this to do over again I would probably do this with the, uh, the TCSS uh, sleeve material but right now Tim doesn't have any of the, uh, the chromed finish stuff that's supposed to be coming into stock uh, Oop, uh, one of these days. So anyway, and this it did line up when I drilled that. I don't know what happened. I can't. I've tried sanding the base of the uh, emitter. I can't get that to straighten out. So that's where that's going to have to go. As far as the blade set screw, it was supposed to be lined up so it was on like the bottom. Uh, it's not that big of an issue though, really. Overall. I like this one. Uh, it was originally based off of Chrome Saber, uh, what was that 22? I think it was. So anyway, there it is. Uh, Joe key back in there. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and uh, make sure that the uh, the low battery uh, side mounted LED there works like it's supposed to, and then uh, just be ready to ship it off to the owner. So there she is. Uh, it's Chrome Saber 31 and. Uh, as usual, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.